Hey guys, Trevor here with eCommerce Paradise. Today's video is called the best products to dropship. Now I did a bit of keyword research in the dropshipping niche and I found a lot of these cool keywords to target. One of them is best products to dropship and it kind of got me curious. I wonder what other people are saying about it. So I went on Google and I typed it in and what I found was very interesting. Oh, Burlo has an article. They're ranking first. Actually, they have two articles. Shopify has an article. Woo Dropship has an article. There's all these articles, right? But check it out. It's really strange. Um, when you go into these articles, the products that they're talking about are not products that you can really like drop ship um, with like a, 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 a long-term business model. You know, these products are all like really cheap products. And I wonder why that they want you to do that. But, you know, and then I looked up like what, why do people do that? And it turns out AliExpress is a really popular platform for sourcing products. And it got me thinking, um, it makes sense to some extent why people do this. I guess it's because, number one, they might not have a lot of money or credit lines, so they can't afford to do high ticket drop shipping. And, you know, number two, maybe it's just easier to go and find a product on AliExpress. You don't have to call suppliers in the United States. You don't have to, you know, fill out dealer applications for AliExpress. It's really simple to set up an account. You find the product. You list it on your website and you send ads at it and then you hopefully make sales, right? So it takes a lot of like the person person like the, the requirement for in-person work out of the out of the business structure building. Um, but you know, the thing I've read a lot about AliExpress dropshipping, which is really concerning, is that you have to always be finding new products. These products are not evergreen products. They're products that you're always going to have to be finding new versions of. You're always going to have to be exploring new ad sets in Facebook. You're always going to be have to be creating new ad groups and stuff like that. All sorts of different ads because if one ad does really well but another ad fails, you've got to figure out why. You know, And you could spend a lot of money on Facebook ads to sell little products that are like 10, 20 bucks, like how much is a moon lamp? You know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, World, uh, watches, you know, cheap watches. Uh, flowers, dog water bottles, like this stuff is so cheap. I mean, you literally would have to, like, let's do some math really quick, just some simple math here, okay, guys? Um, let's just say that a, um, a water bottle is like $10. Maybe you can sell it for $19. I highly doubt that, but let's just give you the benefit of the doubt and so say you can sell it for 20 bucks. Let's say the cost after shipping and everything is like eight bucks, which is pretty average on, I would say, AliExpress. This is just assumptions, but I bet you if you go and do that research, you'd find that too. So 20 minus eight, you're making $12 profit per product. This is ideally speaking. This isn't necessarily the truth. You might have to offer a discount of 10% off or 20% off. So already you're at 18 minus 80. That's 10% discount, right? And then you got to factor in your merchant fees. So um, you got to do that, which means you're, you know, um, 18 minus 8, which is $10. Your merchant fee takes you down to $9.7. We just calculated. So, you know, 18 minus 8, that's your profit. So your profit's $9.70. If you're able to profit $10 on an item, per sale, um, that's not that great, guys. Um, you're going to have to drive a lot of traffic because your conversion rate is going to be somewhere around 1% or 2% on average, maybe less. So just think about that for a minute. If, faith, if Facebook ads cost you per click, let's say, $0.10, cents, which is ideal, right? Um, and you have to drive 100 people to your site to get one sale, that's 1% conversion rate. That's ideally speaking. Then you have to spend $10 for that 100 people in traffic. If you're spending $10 to spend 100 people to your website and you're making $10 on that order, that's not making any profits. You're literally going to lose money, right? And then you're gonna to have to do customer service. So if it doesn't arrive in time or you got returns, you're gonna lose money and you're gonna to have to spend money on Facebook ads. So I'm just warning you here, these are some assumptive numbers, but this is not a great way to do dropshipping. And I don't know why, but that's all there is on Google for information for best products to dropship. It's kind of sad. The only one I think that is good enough is this one by Dropship Lifestyle. But even that, he doesn't really list like a lot of niches that are all that great. I think he kind of avoids the good ones, you know? And um, let's look at this. Aquariums, okay. I could see how that would be high niche maybe, but still very breakable. I could imagine a lot of customer service there. Backpacking, you know, I highly doubt that there's a whole lot there you can do with high ticket drop shipping. I mean, the products are usually around $100, $200. Deep sea fishing, maybe some like giant fishing rods or something like that. Home brewing, I definitely know that's a good niche. Um, bow hunting, maybe. Model trains, I don't know about that. They're not that expensive unless you get like high-end model trains. Arts and crafts, it's really broad. I mean, come on, that doesn't really tell you. 
gardening, yeah, you could figure out like a garden box or something like that. Doll houses, I could see that maybe. Scuba diving, I've looked into that niche. Um, it's not that great. The best thing you have there is like dive watches and stuff, and then that's very brand loyal, so it's tough. He gives you power tools, that's pretty broad. Drum sets, I don't know about that. Gun safes, possibly. I've seen some websites do it, drop shipping gun safes, but very brand loyal. Um, wallpaper, snowboards, trampolines. You know, guys, a way better website you should probably go check out is my website. Here, I'll show you the article right now. Check out the blog post in the link below, guys. This is an actual uh, blog post that I've created that shows you the top 10 best dropshipping products for high-ticket e-commerce in 2018. I even have a separate video going over each of these niches, but check this out. Espresso machines. These are definitely high-ticket. If you click this link, it'll take you to Amazon, and that'll show you the actual high-ticket version of their uh, espresso machines category. So scroll down, you'll see espresso machines are very expensive products. And yes, they sell like hotcakes. You can do the same thing for any of these. Commercial restaurant equipment, there's tons of niches in there. Home brewing products, which Anton talked about in his uh, blog post too. Home bars, bathroom vanities, bathtubs, steam showers, which are all within the bathroom niche. Grills, golf simulators, e-bikes even, inflatable kayaks, boats, and paddle boards. Guys, those are all great niches to be in. Definitely click through and you can find all sorts of cool you know, uh, niche sites in those niches and then you can model after those sites. And that's what I teach how to do in the e-commerce paradise academy. I teach you how to take the espresso machines niche, right? How to search that on Google, right? How to find niche sites that are selling espresso machines like this one right here called whole lot of love. And then what you're able to do is you're able to extract their categories, their suppliers and their content, right? And their popular keywords and stuff like that. Um, you're able to find other niche sites in similar niches and you're able to get accounts with those suppliers because I'm, gonna sh I'm showing you in the academy how to set up one of these niche e-commerce sites. Really good, highly converting. And it makes it a lot easier to get these suppliers over here on the left-hand side. You'll see all the brand names and categories are pretty simple and there's tons of products and they're super high ticket. So let's do the math. We see this one's getting orders here. Let's just say this one, um, $31.99. Okay, $31.99. The average profit margin is around 20% when it comes to high ticket drop shipping. This can go up or down, it really depends. But you're looking at after shipping fees, if there are any, after you know any other costs, all the cost of goods sold put together, your gross profit is $639.80 on that product per sale. Okay, so that's one sale, you're making $640 as opposed to $10. Now, if it costs you $100 to drive you know, 500 people to your website that day through Google AdWords, which I teach how to do in the course, you're still going to 5X that ad cost, which is amazing. That's a huge ROI, guys. And so that's why I only do high ticket drop shipping. I don't mess with low dollar products. I don't mess with any free plus shipping stuff. I just do the high ticket stuff. I build out sales funnels so you can sell upsells and you can sell cross sells and you can even do down sells um, before, during, and after the purchase. But I focus on these high ticket products as the core product line of my business because there are people out there that need these, that want these, that are willing and able to buy them. And I teach you in the academy how to target those people on Google through search engine marketing, through paid and free traffic, right? So that's it guys. I just needed to show you this because I wanted to get you guys away from all these little tiny dollar niches. It might sound easier in the beginning to like go after watches or lamps or fashion or something like that. You know, I get a lot of people that want to do these random ideas. And the truth is that those little dollar products aren't going to make you a sustainable profit for the amount of time you have to put into building that business, right? You're going to have to just be sweating away every single day. And it's just ridiculous. It's silly. Don't do that. Don't do AliExpress dropshipping. It's not worth your time. It's not worth your energy. Just focus on the high ticket dropshipping guys. There's tons of great niches out there. Go to my blog post, uh, blog.ecommerceparadise.com. Link is below in the description. Choose a niche find an niche site to model like this one, right? And then go after it and, and, and set up a website of your own or you can sign up for my academy, take the step-by-step -step course where I show you how to set up not just the website but everything else that goes along with the website, all the services and apps and everything else you're gonna need to set up your entire business. And then uh, op optimize your website for conversions, which is really important. Then set up an e-commerce sales funnel with email marketing and content marketing, um, which will actually 
help close those sales because nobody wants to buy from a faceless website. They need to have personality behind the website. And you have some kind of a founder that you know they can fall in love with, and 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 that's how you sell e-commerce these days. So just so you know, guys, the best product is dropship. Definitely high ticket these days. And sign up for the academy today. Get in there and get your high ticket dropshipping business started. As far as any drop, as far as any online business model goes, it's one of the lowest costs to start up. And it's also very sustainable. And these products are evergreen products. They can last year after year after year after year. They don't change. The brands might make a few new ones or discontinue a few old ones. But generally speaking, most of their product line is going to be evergreen products. So year after year after year, you're going to be able to drive traffic to the same product listings and make the same sales. Some of these are up in the $5,000 range plus, which means you're making over $1,000, $1,500 per sale potentially. So it's really cool, guys. So definitely recommend getting into this stuff. Sign up for the Academy today. It's academy.ecommerceparadise.com. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, this is the screen when you first load it, Commerce Paradise Academy membership. And again, I teach high ticket Shopify dropshipping. So our, this will probably look a little bit different by the time you get here because I want to put a lot more into that. But I provide an ultimate guide to dropshipping, which is a total overview of the entire dropshipping business model. And then I provide a section called Dropship Niche Hacks, where I show you step by step how to conduct market research to find niche sites, just like I showed you there, but way more in depth, find way more niche sites through ads and through organics and stuff like that. Um, you want to find those competitors so you can model them, and then you can also find the best suppliers and keywords to target. And I even show you how to find Amazon affiliate sites because that's a whole other business model that's very passive you can do in conjunction with your dropship site. I also provide actual niche reports, which includes a spreadsheet of all the niche reports that I've done in the past, so you can just model after that. Cool. So it makes it really easy for you. All the courses are coming soon. I'm creating your e uh, creating an e-commerce website right now in the course live every single day so that you guys can see um, step by step what it takes to build one of these businesses out. It's a lot of work, I'm not gonna lie, but it's worth it. It's an evergreen business and you can make a lot of profit, right? It's a fully sustainable business. Um, I'm gonna show you how to get the drop, best dropship suppliers, how to optimize, how to set up your sales funnel, how to get traffic, how to manage your business, do operations and communications, how to actually create systems and procedures so you can outsource your business and focus on the customer lifetime value, right? Because that's truly how you scale. Like I said, guys, I'm creating new content almost daily now, so it's awesome. If you have any questions, you can call or email support at ecommerceparadise.com. Um, have a whole FAQ section on common questions I've been asked. Here's a breakdown of all the different um, course materials so far, and um, you can read a little bit more about it, and the pricing is down at the bottom. So definitely go check it out, and um, you can get your uh, uh, free 99 niches download, actually, um, and I'll show you the link right now. That same blog article that I just showed you, you definitely can, uh, you can go to the bottom and you can actually click a link right here and that'll take you over to this page where you can get a 99 high ticket dropship, is, dropship niches list. Um, this is a great list of niches so just sign up for it right there. You'll get delivered to your email inbox within five minutes or so and that's going to give you tons of ideas for your dropship niches. So get in there guys. Sign up for the Academy, get your online business started, super profitable way of making money online. Um, I do this currently right now and I'm able to travel the world and work from home and do all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, my wife handles a lot of the operations of the business while I do a lot of the building of the business. And that's why I highly recommend starting one of these websites as a couple. Because as a couple, you can team up. You're, you know, your significant other can help you with one part of the business while you work on another one. It can be difficult managing one of these businesses by yourself, and so I also teach how to do outsourcing in the course, how to hire a VA to do all your customer service for you. But um, what's really cool is actually having your, your significant other working with you or finding a business partner that's willing to work with you. Maybe your brother or your sister or something like that, a uh, family member, you know, that kind of a thing. So with that said, definitely subscribe to the channel and check out the Academy, academy.ecommerceparadise.com. I'll see you guys out there. Take care.